That devil is a liar. I say that devil is a liar. Families are being restored back. The enemy knows, people of God, if he can use families, he would have destroyed communities. He would have destroyed a nation. The enemy knows if he can use a family or families and attack them, there will be no nation. There will be no communities. Offenses have been found to be a bait that the enemy is using, capitalizing against the destiny of many families. But I'm here to tell you, in this season of restoration, families that have been under attack are being restored back. Whoever, Lord have mercy on us, whoever hits his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. It's time, people of God, we became what God intended and intends for us to be. Children of light. Walking in the light and not in darkness. How is your relationship with your spouse? Are you walking in love or you are housemates or roommates as you might want to put it, surviving in marriage? If the answer is in the negative, you are a murderer. According to the word of God, because you are walking in hate. I blow you by the masses of God. You change that by saying, Lord, give me the grace to love. Give me the grace to care for my spouse. According to your word, the church must begin at home. Ministry must begin at home. Brother, how can you want to win the whole world with your singing? You want to win the whole world with your preaching when your own siblings are on their way to hell. God saved you and raised you up in that family to become the extension of God's love in that family. Secrets of keeping your relationship healthy. Point number one, walk in love. Walk in love. A new commandment I give to you. That you love one another. As I have loved you. That you also love one another. That love simply means laying down your life. For your brother. For your sister. For your spouse. For those closer to you. Forgive whenever you are wronged. Forgive whenever you are wronged. And whenever you stand praying. If you have anything against anyone, including your spouse, your children, your parents, those closer to you, whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, do what? Come on, say it. Forgive. That your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of forgiveness. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of forgiveness. Whenever you are wronged, don't keep a record of evil. Don't keep a list of wrongs. Resolve conflicts whenever they occur. Resolve conflicts whenever they occur. Stay current and not keeping a record of wrongs. Stay current. In other words, whenever an issue arises, resolve it right there on the spot. Don't wait until you have kept a list of wrongs. Because when you do so, you are creating an environment for the enemy. To destroy your relationship with whoever you are relating with. Are we together? Be honest with each other at all times. Brother, if you have said something that has offended your wife. My sister, 
you know you offended your husband. Be quick. Be honest and say, I'm sorry, honey. I never intended to hurt you. Learn to attack the problem or issue and not the person. Whenever there is a difference, whenever there is a disagreement, please don't focus on the person. Focus on the cause of the disagreement. Proverbs 16, 21. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and healthy to the pots. Watch out the words that come out of your mouth. You are not entitled to use every word and say everything. Choose your words carefully. Tame your tongue and make sure the words that come out of your mouth directed to your spouse are words of encouragement life words that bring comfort not words that bring sorrow always evaluate your attitude about members of your family evaluate the kind of attitude you have about your parents about your brothers about your sisters about those close members of your family if i was to ask each one of you today tell me what kind of attitude do you have about your sister-in-laws? What kind of attitude do you have about your brother-in-laws? What kind of attitude do you have about your mother-in-law? Set a guard, O oh Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. That should be your prayer every day. That should be your prayer every day. Before you open your mouth, oh God, said it, a God, oh Lord. Let me advise officers who are here, those who are working in offices. That should be your prayer whenever you're going for a board meeting. Use that verse whenever you're going for any meeting, please. Lord, set a God over my mouth. Keep watch over the door on my lips so that I don't burst in a board meeting. Leading me 